What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the National Hate Channel. Today we got a bunch of stuff going on the Duramax, so I'm gonna split it up into a couple parts. First, we're gonna do wheel bearings on the Chevy, throwing kryptonite wheel bearings on this thing with the lifetime warranty. Let's get this started. We gotta pull the caliper off, all this stuff, and uh yeah, shouldn't be that bad. Have to pop this cover off, get the axle out of there, and uh We'll show you how it's done. All right, got the caliper pulled off with two 21 millimeter bolts and got it zip tied up here around the shock. And now we can take the bolts to get the hub off, which are a 15 mil and there's four. So two on this side, two over here by the tie rod. Gonna need a 36 mil socket to do the axle nut if you're on a four wheel drive truck. It should be the same on a two wheel drive, but just won't need to do this and now we have to take out the wheel speed sensor and i think we're ready to pull this hub off all right the wheel speed sensor goes down in that hole that is a five millimeter allen wrench or allen bolt and pop that out and now i'm going to take an extension put it on the axle right here smack it with a hammer this should come loose and we'll be able to pull the hub off then you can put the new one on all right guys just like that this thing comes right off and honestly wheel bearings on the front of this thing are one of the easiest things to do so let's put the new ones on after we do a bunch of control arms and other things like that so that'll be a different day but we will get those on in this video stay tuned for the other videos where we do upper control arms lower control arms and all the steering stuff all right we got the wheel bearing off got the new rubber seal in here that is just as easy as pulling it out just use a knife to get it out and then put some oil on it that's what i did and we'll get the new kryptonite wheel bearing on there and it comes with a new sensor everything is back on the truck you can see the wheel bearing bolts obviously right here i just wanted to show you that these bolts get torqued to 90 foot pounds and then the axle bolt gets torqued to 177. You want to make sure you torque the axle nut properly to 177 because that's going to set the preload on your bearing and if you don't do that properly you're basically going to wear down the bearing uh, pretty quickly and you don't want to do that especially if you're running different set of wheels and tires because that's going to put a lot more stress on everything and then obviously reroute your wire for your ABS sensor or wheel speed sensor that goes right here. I just zip tied it to the control arm and then it plugs in back here. Guys, that's gonna cover everything for the wheel bearing. This is actually super easy on these trucks. I figured it was gonna be a lot more time consuming, but definitely one of the easier jobs on these trucks. Buy a good wheel bearing. Kryptonite has a lifetime warranty and that's sick. That's why I got these. But make sure you stay tuned to Nasty Nate. I'm coming out with videos on doing everything else on the front end. So make sure you stay tuned to Nasty Nate. Subscribe down below. We'll catch you in the next one.